All right, for this episode, I'm going to go over a pretty brief step-by-step -step tutorial of how to remove a Miata rear differential, whether it be because you grenaded your 1.6 or you intend to weld your 1.8 or you're actually swapping for a Torsen rear differential limited slip VLSD viscous, whatever you wanna call it. I'm actually going to be eventually dropping an LS1 into my car. That requires putting a Ford Thunderbird rear diff in, or there's a couple of different options, but the most common one is either a Ford Explorer or a Ford Thunderbird 8.8 .8 rear diff. So eventually I'm going to be getting rid of my whole rear end section anyway, CV axles, differential. This car though came with a Torsen rear diff. So what I plan on doing, because I'm not interested in spinning tires or racing right now, the car is just too heavy as it sits without the LS1 in it. So I'm going to remove my torsen rear diff and trade it for an open diff plus cash so someone's going to give me some cash and their open diff and they can take my six hundred dollar torsen rear differential you can find them as low as 400 bucks depending on where you find them but it's just going to be the diff usually you may need different axles if you're going from a 1.6 the two-piece axle you can see there right next to the diff there's actually a flange with nuts and bolts holding the cv axle to an output on the diff that output pops out just like the one-piece axles do so if you have a 1.8 you may have two-piece axles you may have one piece either one will work on a 1.8 diff but the 1.6 diff has different splines at the differential so the axle itself needs to be different the first thing you're going to want to do is jack up your car and put it on jack stands you're going to need two jacks one to lift the car and put it on jack stands and then another jack you can use the same jack if you use jack stands obviously but then the second jack is going to go need to go underneath the rear differential so that once it's completely disconnected from the car, it won't fall on top of your head. So once you get the car on jack stands, you're gonna want to remove any exhaust that's in the way. There's also a crossover pipe over here that you can remove that'll make it a lot easier to get to. And you won't have to flip the diff out of the way around the crossover pipe. Next, you're going to need to remove both rear wheels and disconnect the upper hub bolt so that this entire assembly can tilt out of the way and take the axle with it. And that way you can pry the axles out of the diff. You can either disconnect those nuts and bolts and let it fall away that way and then pry them out later. I think it's easier to pry them out while they're in the car. You're gonna want to wedge a flathead or a pry bar in between that flange, or if you have one piece, in between the CV axle itself and a thick spot on the rear diff. That's the diff there. And you can kind of see there is the axle itself. You're gonna pry between the axle and the differential. Prying here against this tab is the safest spot to pry, and that way you won't crack the housing of the diff itself. Pry on it hard enough, it'll pop free. Once you have the CV axles disconnected from the diff itself, you're going to need to get completely up in here and disconnect all four of those drive shaft nuts and bolts connecting the drive shaft to the diff. You're gonna need a friend or yourself to hop out and put it in neutral and spin the drive shaft around getting all four of those bolts out. After you've removed the four drive shaft nuts and bolts and the drive shaft is free, you need to come to the power plant frame or PPF and remove both of these bolts. They're very long, they go all the way up to the top and then put them back in two full turns put a piece of wood against them and whap them with a hammer and that will push the pressed in nuts out of the top that hold on to the diff itself. You'll have a lot of trouble getting this diff out of this power plant frame if those press fit nuts at the top of the power plant frame are not removed. Once you pop those up, you can hold them with your hand and then remove the bolts the rest of the way. They'll drop right out. Lastly, directly above the axle boot, there's a nut on either side and a couple of little lock nuts here. You're gonna disconnect these nuts with this on a jack stand, preferably with a piece of wood between it, and slowly drop those nuts off of both sides, then lower the diff out of the way on a jack and roll it out. That is literally all it takes to drop. Install is reverse of removal. Hopefully that answers some questions for you guys about how to do a diff swap. I checked all over YouTube and I didn't see any real step-by-step -step tutorial so I figured since I'm gonna be doing it this week, I would go ahead and knock out a step-by-step. -step. I may still do 
an actual video tutorial of me removing mine and putting in the new one. Comment below if that's something you guys want to see. Again, hopefully that helps. If you like the video, click the like button. If you want to subscribe so you're notified instantly as soon as I upload a new video, click that subscribe button. But as always guys, keep on modding.